Before you import your library data into Music One, you should first check and correct the artist and title fields on your MP3 audio files. It's more efficient. You can get the job done quicker with software that was made specifically for this job. There are several of these that are available for free on the net. The two that I like the best are Media Monkey and one named MP3 Tag. I'll use that one to demonstrate what to do. Start MP3 Tag and tell it to scan your audio folders. You can have it scan one at a time or all at once. With this icon, you can add a directory to your scan. With this one, you can change directory. I'll have it scan a directory that I've named Big Band. It brings up a kind of a spreadsheet showing all the tags. You can add missing tag data and correct data that may be wrong. Music One will import the title and the artist, the path, the file name, and the length. Those are the only fields that are required by Music One. If your tags also contain album, hit year, and genre, those fields will also be imported, but again, they're not required. When you see a file with a field that needs updating, click into the cell and type in the correction. When you tab out or click out of the field, your correction will be written to the MP3 tag of that audio file. Music One has two types of cards that it uses to schedule, music and non-music. Any audio file that has both the title and the artist tag data fields empty will not be imported into Music One. All song files must have both title and artist data or they'll not be imported onto a song card in Music One. Any audio file that has title data only and no artist will be imported as a non-music card. That'll be okay for your station liners, voice tracks, promos, and programs. You'll want them to be on non-music cards within M1. If you happen to get a song imported into Music One as a non-music card, you can convert it to the correct card type within Music One itself.